Oh, it's days like today that I feel like I've made it. Then I feel like I've made a horrible mistake. Hey, we're Mel and Jay. Together with our cat Benny, we're traveling from Hope, BC, all the way to South Padre Island, Texas, y'all, with lots of stops along the way. Okay, so you were right. They do not have dry camping here. Oh. They only have uh, partial hookup and full hookup. All they have available is full hookup, and that's 50 a night. He showed me two sites that he recommended. We could walk down and take a look at them and see what you think. Or we could go back to that other park and... Dry camp? Stay in their parking lot for 20 bucks a night. What do you think? I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> well, maybe we'll go take a look at those sites. A little bit different than beach camping. So what do you think? You wanna do it? Even for like just a couple nights or something? Yeah, maybe we should. We'll book until Saturday. Yeah, all right. All right, we're all unhitched in the Isla Blanca County Park. Still a little bit windy, but not nearly as windy as it was on the beach. And it's supposed to get a little nicer by the end of today. So things are looking good. As you might recall, last episode, we escaped from the beach as the wind and the tides were not really in our favor. But now we've got sand just everywhere from that crazy wind. So we're bringing everything outside of the rig, shaking everything out, sweeping, vacuuming, doing everything we can to try and get rid of this sand. Ooh, jeez. Hmm. That's more sand than I thought there would be. There's sand. Oh my. Why good morning! We are on our way to the mechanic today because we think our battery might need to be changed in the truck. That's because we've owned the truck now for about four years and we've never changed it before. And as it turns out, truck batteries will only last four to five years typically, so we think we might be due. I'm guessing we probably need a new one, but we'll get it tested and we'll see for sure. And better safe than sorry, it would be horrible to have the battery die at a crucial moment when we're trying to, say, get off a beach. <laughs> battery replaced. We're good to go again. Battery definitely needed to be replaced. All right, now that we got our battery taken care of, more chores to do. We're gonna vacuum the truck because it is so full of sand right now from that windstorm. Literally everywhere. Oh, like, look at the sand on the dash there. Sand Down at your here feet. At my feet. And this is just like packed from the sand. It's like we brought the beach with us. We've got another big windstorm today and our slide topper is flapping around so we're going to try beach balls version 2. We've got a little bit bigger beach balls this time so we're going to try these out and see how they work. How are you getting yours filled so fast? Got big lungs. We've been here for several days at the Isla Blanca RV park. Big windstorm yesterday, but it wasn't a big deal since we were all cozied up between all these RVs here. But now the wind is dying down and we're ready to head back to the beach. we find ourselves at the beach entrance once again. This time we're going to be very, very cautious 
and have a little walk and see what the beach road looks like first. Yeah, it looks pretty out. It looks like the tides have been coming up pretty high though. Well, we're here at our old spot and we're gonna take a look and see where the tide line came up to last night. Right about here which was about as high as the last big storm when we were here. But yesterday was a really big storm. Today, the winds are supposed to be not quite as bad. Got another group over here setting up. Well, I tell you, leveling on the sand is never an easy thing, but we've more or less got it. Every time we come to this beach, we have to unhitch the trailer to get the truck unstuck from the sand, pat down the sand, and then re-hitch up and reposition. I can't say I love it. Yeah, so that was moving from a uh, campground to the beach. It took about four hours. It was it a lot of work. Okay, I was exaggerating. It took us about almost three hours. Still, it's quite a while, so you can maybe see why we're thinking that a van might be a little bit easier for us. I don't know. What do you think? If you own a van, we would really love to know what kind of time is involved for you to break down camp and then reset up camp. Total combined time. Let us know in the comments. So you can see I've dug our carpet into the sand again. It's a nice technique if you don't have anything really heavy to weigh it down. And it works up to like medium to relatively high winds. And now I think I'll put up the wind fence. It's around noon and I think we're on the beach now. I think it might be time for guac o'clock. Apparently Mel read my mind and was busy doing this. <laughs> while I was setting up the chairs. All right, folks, we are on the beach and we've got guac. Life really couldn't get any better. I'm actually having a dry winter, but I really like to have a beer with my guac. So I got a 0% beer to go with my guac. Cheers, all. You know, we hardly ever barbecue, but I've had a real hankering for hot dogs. So we're gonna barbecue on the beach. It is such a beautiful day today. Absolutely loving the beach. But <laughs> tomorrow there's another huge windstorm coming. So tomorrow morning, we're gonna have to pack up again and head back to the campground. This is uh, a lot more moving than I was really hoping for. But you know what? That's the price to pay to enjoy this. Today it is getting like properly warm. I think I might need a, a good old dip in the ocean. You guys must think we're kind of boring sometimes, just like hanging out on the beach and going for dips and eating guac. But I don't know, it's days like today that I feel like I've made it, you know? Now, days when I'm like building a barrier trying to protect the trailer from an onslaught of tide water, then I feel like I've made a horrible mistake. It's so calm today, we can actually put out the awning. 
Why'd you put out the awning? Because it's getting hot in here. And I don't want to take off all my clothes. <laughs> Sunday today and there's lots of people on the beach. Ah, that was nice. We discovered a new snack. Pretzels with cajeta. Mm. In case you're wondering what cajeta is, it's caramel that's made with goat's milk instead of cow's milk. So it's got a bit of a tang to it. Very good. Our chicken's getting close. It's looking good. Join us next week when we find ourselves in gale force winds again. Good times. See you then. That's right, we've got bigger balls. I can hear you snickering. <laughs> But we were nice and, uh, can't see it because all the steam. <laughs> Let's try that again. Make sure you don't miss the next video by liking, subscribing, and turning on notifications. Oh, and don't forget to check out our website and sign up for our weekly email blast. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you in the next one.